this is just like that question at every Miss World, Miss Universe competition. What do you want to do? I want to do it all for world peace. That's oh, yes. the reason I'm here. For the empowerment of women and world peace. And those are the problems I plan to solve this year. Obviously, all the heads of state of the countries <laughs> can't solve it. They're going to solve it in their one year by going from country to country. So it's exactly like that. Let's let's be completely honest. I mean, how much does the West Indies play against a central contract? Oh, uh, we've, we've tried to figure out some numbers based on last year's uh, payments. But let's say at, at one of the top five, ten West Indies players will make around about two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand dollars in a year if they play all formats and most of the games. Now, what was Shimron Hitmeyer last year? Yeah, he was in 600, more 600, than 600,000. So it's, it's life changing. And, and that was the thing, the point I made about Corey Anderson. Everybody knew at lunchtime in that game, it was all around the ground. He knew, his mates knew, Trent Bolt was the same when he went for, I think, eight or 900,000 to call Yeah, yeah and big, 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 uh, big, big money. Everybody knew within five minutes of the auction, it was all around the ground and the players all knew. It is life changing for some of these guys. So to say that they're not thinking about it, they're lying. You know. The only time I've had the experience of, of, of this happening with a Bangladesh game was happening. And uh, that's the time Mustafiz was picked up for, for the first time. Sunrisers. Um, by, by the Sunrisers. And uh, he actually finished his bowling spell and came back and just whispered to me. He said, I'm not supposed to be talking to you, but can you tell me how much I've gone for? And I, <laughs> I, I honestly, I didn't have the information. By the time the innings finished, I did relay it to him and that's it, his, his focus was just somewhere yeah. else. No, no, that's the point. You see, the first thing that even when we compare this money, say 250 to 300,000, it's not that he's risking any of this money by no. playing in the IPL. Because his his tournament, it's this money is there anyway. Just a window. So think of it yeah. that he's going to make probably double of what he makes in an entire year for playing for 55, 60 days of cricket. And that's a, it's a game changer and it's a game changer enough for people like, you know, Let's face it, there are few, there are few players as honest, as, as patriotic as, say, a Brendan McCullum. You know, let's look at that list, you know. And, uh, and what, what, actually, look at all the list of players who haven't played at all. Yeah. Hope, Cottrell, Hayden Walsh, new, relative newcomer, he's someone who could actually be picked up by someone. But they're all, they're all you know. based around that 50 lakhs as well, which is what I like. I mean, some players, their expectations are way too high. Now, who will go out of that list? Oh, Sheldon Cottrell's a must. Any team wants a... a whether they want to use him up front or whether they want a backup opening bowler, at 50 lakhs, he, he is a must for mine. Alzari Joseph, I think he'll go again. He had a great uh, time of it last year if yeah. he's fit. Brandon King, yeah, I think at 50 lakhs, if you pinch Brandon King as a backup opening batsman, 100%. You now let's take just him. point out to you and everyone else that the list we've put up is the players who are actually playing in this ODI series. Yes. Kedrick Williams also added to that list, so he's someone who could go, and yep. Rendell Simmons. Um, Jason Holder. Do you want a backup all-rounder if you're going to buy, if you're going to spend a lot of money on a Stoinis or a Chris Morris or someone like that? Do you want to pay 75 lakh for Jason Holder? Possibly. 